Good morning. Welcome to morning prayer. Well, I hope you're all well. Um, I've had a lovely holiday. Um, I returned at the beginning of this week and the reason we haven't had any recorded services from me is because I've had a series of unavoidable technical problems with the recording software and my computer and I've just got it set up again this morning and so I'm delighted to be able to share prayers with you once more. So everything that you need is on the page in front of you. As you can see, we uh, celebrate the life and work of St. Augustine, the Bishop of Hippo, who died on this day in the year 430. And Augustine was a remarkable theologian, uh, wrote many important works, including commentaries, uh, but also um, two works of great significance, um, the Confessions, which is um, possibly the first of, a, um, of the spiritual autobiography genre of, of Christian writing, and uh, also a significant work on the Trinity. But this morning we pray with Augustine and with all the saints as we ask God to bless his church and to heal his world. So let us pray. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving, and be glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth and the heights of the mountains are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have moulded the dry land. Come, let us worship and bow down and kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God. We are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. O oh, that today you would listen to his voice. Harden not your hearts at Meribah on that day at Massah in the wilderness. When your forebears tested me and put me to the proof, though they had seen my works. Forty years long I detested that generation and said, This people are wayward in their hearts, they do not know my ways. So I swore in my wrath, they shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Psalm 88 O Lord God of my salvation, I have cried day and night before you. Let my prayer come into your presence, incline your ear to my cry. For my soul is full of troubles, my life draws near to the land of death. I am counted as one gone down to the pit, I am like one that has no strength. Lost among the dead, like the slain who lie in the grave, whom you remember no more, for they are cut off from your hand. You have laid me in the lowest pit, in a place of darkness in the abyss. Your anger lies heavily upon me, and you have afflicted me with all your waves. You have put my friends far from me, and you have made me to be abhorred by them. I am so fast in prison that I cannot get free. My eyes fail from all my trouble. Lord, I have called daily upon you. I have stretched out my hands to you. Do you work wonders for the dead? Will the shades stand up and praise you? Shall your loving kindness be declared in the grave, your faithfulness in the land of destruction? Shall your wonders be known in the dark? or your righteous deeds in the land where all is forgotten. But as for me, O Lord, I will cry to you. Early in the morning my prayer shall come before you. Lord, why have you rejected my soul? Why have you hidden your face from me? I have been wretched and at the point of my death from youth. I suffer your terrors and am no more seen. 
Your wrath sweeps over me. Your horrors are come to destroy me. All day long they come about me like water. They close me in on every side. Lover and friend have you put far from me and hid my companions out of my sight. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. And a reading from the Book of the Acts. When they heard these things, they became enraged and ground their teeth at Stephen. But filled with the Holy Spirit, he gazed into heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. Look, he said, I see the heavens opened and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. But they covered their ears and with a loud shout all rushed together against him. Then they dragged him out of the city and began to stone him. While they were stoning Stephen, he prayed, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Then he knelt down and cried out in a loud voice, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. When he had said this, he died. And Saul approved of their killing him. That day a severe persecution began against the church in Jerusalem, and all except the apostles were scattered throughout the countryside of Judea and Samaria. Devout men buried Stephen and made loud lamentation over him. But Saul was ravaging the church by entering house after house, dragging off both men and women, and he committed them to prison. Those who are wise will shine as brightly as the heavens, and those who have instructed many in virtue will shine like stars for all eternity. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Those who are wise will shine as brightly as the heavens, and those who have instructed many in virtue will shine like stars for all eternity. So let us pray. And this morning we pray for ourselves, for the day that lies ahead, for all that we must do, for all whom we may meet. And we ask God to bless us, to bless the works of our hands, and to fulfill in us the scripture which promises that we will shine like stars in his cosmos. And 
we pray for all who are in any sort of need. And we pray especially for those who are ill or alone or in trouble or in hardship or in poverty or unemployment or distress. We pray for those whose home life is not happy. We pray for children who are not safe. We pray for women who are in fear. And we also pray for those who have died and those who mourn them. We pray for the family of Suzanne Jackson, who will be interred in September in Chalgrove Churchyard. We pray for the family of John Hodinot, who was interred at Berwick. We pray for David Vile whose funeral will be in September, and especially for Jean, that God would comfort and protect her. And so we use the short responses. That this day may be holy, good and joyful. We pray to you, O Lord, that we may offer you our worship and our work. We pray to you, O Lord, that we may strive for the well-being of all creation. We pray to you, O Lord, that in the pleasures and pains of life we may know the love of Christ and be thankful. We pray to you, O Lord, that we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit in communion with St. Helen, St. Augustine and our Blessed Mother Mary and all your saints, entrusting one another and all our life to Christ. We pray to you, O Lord. So let us commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. Merciful Lord, who turned Augustine from his sins to be a faithful bishop and teacher, grant that we may follow him in penitence and in discipline till our restless hearts find their rest in you. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. So thank you for tuning in for morning prayer. I hope to see some of you at um, St Helens in Berwick for uh, Sunday worship. And uh, we will be uh, uploading uh, morning prayer services and Compline services from today. God bless. <laughs>